What's up, Kane TV? I'm Tori Honore. And I'm Drew Kowalik, and you're watching the Campus Calendar. We will be here every week to give you a first-hand view of what events are going on around Kane University. Today is Tuesday, October 30th, 2018. Halloween is officially upon us. Well, tomorrow, that is. <laughs> Why else would we be dressed in these outfits? <laughs> That's right. I can't wait to go trick-or-treating this year. <laughs> Me too. I even went to some Halloween parties this past weekend, and it was so much fun. Kane TV's Michael Perkins will be out on campus tomorrow to check out what Kane students are wearing to school on Halloween. So, if you see him, don't forget to stop by and say hi. You might just see yourself on the next episode of the Campus Calendar. I can't wait to see, but until then, here's some important dates coming up, Cougars. Wednesday, October 31st, registration for the spring semester starts. You will receive emails letting you know when it's your turn to register. On Tuesday, November 6th, it's Election Day, and Kane will be closed. Make sure you vote. In fact, here's a PSA from one of our Kane Ocean students, Bob Santanel. On a daily basis, we're met with many inconveniences, such as road work, traffic, or poorly written laws and regulations. Well, the solution is you. Yes, you. By visiting the website www.nj.gov slash elections, you can find out information regarding the local politicians running in your area. It's up to us as a community to discuss the changes we would like to see happen by voting in our local election November 6th. Yes, everyone, make sure you vote. Friday, November 9th is the last day to make up incomplete grades from prior summer and spring sessions. And on November 12th, it's Veterans Day, but Kane will be open and classes will be held. Speaking of voter registration, Kane has also held several voter registration tables this semester to register students to vote. Kane TV was over at the event. Let's check it out. Are you registered to vote? Yeah, I am. How about you? I've been registered to vote since I was 18 years old. <laughs> Excellent. Last week, Edith and Michael had mentioned the homecoming concert, but one of the things they didn't mention was the amazing tailgate and carnival that took place. What was there? There were food, vendors, games, prizes, and all kinds of contests. Students won a $500 Barnes & Noble gift card, a reserved parking spot on campus, a MacBook Pro, and a free tuition for a semester. We also voted for the newest Cougar logo. Take a look, guys. Which one would you vote for? Let's put it up on the screen for everyone to see. Tori, which one would you vote for? Um, I like the one on the left. <laughs> I like the one in the middle. We will see soon. The theater department is back in full swing of things with rehearsals for their newest production, Parade the Musical. Kane TV's Franklin got us some footage from one of their practices. Enjoy the sneak peek, Cougars. Leo's exiting, stage left, Ed will come out, move this, and then we're in business. I've actually seen this play before and it's so, so good. I'm extremely excited to see it. Plus, Curtain Call with Frank will give us the backstage access we wanted to see about what goes into making a play come to life. This past week, Kane TV's Andrew was able to go over to the Human Rights Institute for a book launch. Dr. Julia Navarez was there with her new book, Governing Disaster in Urban Environments, Climate Change Preparation and Adoption After Hurricane Sandy. We have some of that interview for you today. Let's take a look. So, we have been here 
assessing active citizenship as one of the ways in which we can engage with our communities and with our societies. This is coming from um, the general education, but also as part of an activist, as someone who has been interested in understanding what is the kind of society in which we are living, the role of sociology, I would say. That looked really cool. I love going to events over at the Human Rights Institute. Besides the presentation we had by Dr. Navarez, we students were also able to get to meet and listen to Pulitzer Prize author John McCam when, we, when he came to speak in the NAB building as our first distinguished lecturer. He was interviewed by Dean Mercon Mercantini and, he, and the students learned so much. He discussed politics and current events. In December, we will have our second distinguished lecturer, Judy A. Smith. She is the co-executive producer and inspiration for the TV show Scandal. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. That is so cool. The powder puff game has come and gone, and the ladies had so much fun. There was dancing and laughs. They even played a great game, too. The King Dance Theater held their fourth annual powder puff game. All the money they raised went to the American Cancer Society. That wraps us up for this week. Make sure you keep an eye out for all of the new shows coming out on Kane TV. We want to wish everyone a safe and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Thanks for watching. I'm Tori Honore. And I'm Drew Kowalik, and we'll see you next week.